So, we are done with Sagittarius. Now we are doing Capricorn. Hi Capricorn, it's your girl, Bunny here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing and tarot and all things spiritual. Ooh. Okay, so this reading is going to be timeless. Whenever you find it, don't fret. It's for you. All of my readings are timeless. However, it will be dated January 2024. <laughs> okay. Um, I have already created sacred space and I have Archangel Michael here, my main man, who protects this beautiful space for me while I channel so that we know the messages are pure and I do um, sound clearing with my bell. So I'm actually going to pause it so I can do that in a second. But I'm going to go ahead and do my little thing where I invite the guides of the Capricorns that watch me, those that are watching me now, and those who will watch me in the future. Spirit guides, ancestors, star family, welcome into this space so we can guide your Capricorns right into the messages that they need to hear the most right now at this moment. Sorry for any background noise. I'm a working mom. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this so we can clear our space. I just went crazy with the bell. That felt good. All right, so we're going to go ahead and dive right in. Capricorn. What do we have for Capricorn? Capricorn. What do we have for Capricorn? Let's try to keep this reading short and sweet, please. Spurt. <laughs> Spurt. Spirit. All right. Let's see what the theme of your reading is going to be. Rock and roll. Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn. Ooh, Spirit of Ask me to shuffle for a minute for y'all. You got some good stuff coming in. Wow, we have reward for it once. I got to turn on this fan. I'm getting sweaty. I can't take it. Ooh. Oh, so you're going to hear some clicking, you're going to hear some spinning and some whirring. Ouchie. I need to ground myself to keep hitting myself, banging myself all up. So, four of wands, it's reward. Can you see that? Let's see what else we have coming in. All right. But right away, there's a gift. There's something coming in that you have earned, Capricorn. Ooh, and my right ear is ringing. So there's your confirmation. Something you've been working really hard to manifest. It's going to come in so quickly and so easily and so beautifully. It's going to give you a sense of stability. Wow, Ten of Pentacles. Look, look, it's money. Ten of Pentacles. We have luck and money. Money, honey. Ooh, Capricorns love money. I like money, too. So, <laughs> money loves me. We love money. All right? Capricorn, say it with me collectively. I love money. Money loves me. Guess what, Capricorn? Y today's your lucky day. It literally says luck. Look at that. Today is your lucky day. Capricorn is going to win the lottery. <laughs> I don't know if that's what's going to happen, but something that you've been trying to manifest financial-wise Biggie, Biggie Magunto, it's coming in, okay? It's big, it's big, it's huge. Ten of Pentacles is wealth. And is it luck or is it alignment? Have you aligned yourself to your dreams of financial security? The Four of Wands is, you know, though if for those that have followed me for a while, you know I call the Four of Wands the Four Pillars of Stability. It's financial stability, right? You got financial stability and you have wealth. Okay. The four of wands can represent emotional stability, financial stability, right? Um, commitment in a relationship. In this case, it's financial stability. You have the ten of pentacles, which is wealth. Wow. We have the angel of the ocean healing. Look at this is um, temperance. Patience. 
So it is Sagittarius energy, but it is not just Sagittarius energy. It is alchemy. It is eternity. It's healing. Your healing journey just took a whole new level, my beautiful Capricorn. You have learned the power to alchemize those negative lower vibrational emotions and transmute them into something greater than yourself. It's a beautiful energy. And, not, and I'm not that I'm saying that anything is greater than you, my beautiful Capricorn. But what I'm saying is collectively, you're helping us all to transmute these lower vibrational energies into a higher vibrational frequency. And it's incredible. <clears throat> You have a very earth angel energy as well. Okay, we have queen of swords, resilience. Beautiful. Let's see what else. But the path has not been easy, has it, right? You're going to have to still show a certain sorts of resilience. Because I feel like when all of these blessings come in, people are going to try to take from you. Look at this. We have queen of swords, resilience, and then we have seven of swords, loss. So... There is no coincidence here that we have two sharks, right? The sharks, what do they do when they smell blood? They linger. They circle, right? There, people are going to try to get things from you when they see this financial abundance coming in, Capricorn. They're going to be like, ooh, Capricorn has money. Now let's see what it is that we can you know, manipulate out of Capricorn. So, so be careful of that energy. Don't allow these people to take anything from you. It's going to be really imperative at this time that you learn to protect your energy, okay? When the money comes, the sharks will come. The scavengers. The manipulators and the lower vibrational energies. Wow. <clears throat> I told you, look. Manifestation. The magician. <clears throat> if, however, someone does manage to get something from you, it won't last very long, right? You are a master manifester at this time. Whatever energy you have shifted yourself into, Capricorn, you are creating so easily, so quickly. It's almost like this energy of, I want to tell you to just, <clears throat> oof, my throat chakra all of a sudden. It's almost this energy of like, I have to speak quickly because spirit does not want this message to come out. Or not spirit, but, you know, the other darker forces, okay? Because you are at this level where you are almost instantly manifesting things, okay? Everything is coming very quickly, right? Everything is very balanced in your life right now. And if, it's, if you're not there, then take heart because you're going to be there. Whatever it is you've been working on manifesting, it's coming in. Look, it's manifestation. It's a magician. This is also Spirit's way of saying you have all the tools that you need in front of you in order to create your perfect life. What is it that you want, Capricorn? Wow, we're going to get one more card and we're going to move on to the oh, Ace of Pentacles. Again, you have prosperity. Oh, my God. I cannot take it. Look at this. Holy shit, Capricorn. Reward. Manifestation, right? Sorry, reward. Okay, this is wealth in itself. Stability. Ten of Pentacles, wealth. Manifestation, wealth. Ace of Pentacles, wealth. Prosperity. Ace of Pentacles means financial abundance look at how big that goddamn pentacle is for crying out loud 
Ace of Pentacles always means a huge financial windfall. And you have it three, not three times, four times. It's the power of four. Again, four. One, two, three, four. Stability. Financial stability. Oh my gosh. I need to exhale. <laughs> I need to exhale. Wow. <laughs> I can't even say anything. I just have to say, wow. I need to pause this for a second. Okay, so um, I had to write down what I was going to call Sagittarius's reading. The energy is incredible. It's been incredible. This new moon, full moon, Leo full moon has it really whipped us into shape, didn't it? Shit. Sagittarius' reading was incredible. Your reading has been incredible. It's a, it's amazing. Wow. It's <laughs> nothing else to say. I don't even know what to, what to even... What can I... Like, during Sagittarius' reading, too, There's the reading was so good. I was just like, what am I supposed to channel now? Like, <laughs> you have all the good things. And just when I thought it wouldn't get any better, boom, love comes out for them as well. And I'm like, you guys have the whole damn kit and caboodle. Like, <laughs> there's there's nothing else left to channel. Like, <laughs> you have it all. <laughs> oh, Lord. They had the spiritual connection. They had the money. They had the love. It's like, it, it's all of it. It's all. Everything. It's, it's beautiful. Oh, Okay, you could possibly have love coming in as well. Let's see. I don't I don't know. <sighs> Looks like it. I don't know. Capricorn, you have someone from your past that is feeling really nostalgic for you. And they're going to try to rush back into your life quickly. Now, I don't know. Oh, Lord. And they're going to try to claim you immediately as theirs <laughs> can I just say that this person whoever it is they sort of put it put you on a pedestal like sorry my chair is a squeak 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 all right um okay so look, we have six of cups. There is that new person. Okay. Could be new, could be old. I don't know. There are no accidents. I said new, but look, someone from your past wanting to rush in, um, clearly putting you on a pedestal, right? This also could represent fame and fortune. So again, we have fortune again. This is being well known for what you do. It's the card of riches and fame, Capricorn. Okay, so that will resonate with a few of you, probably not with all of you. Either way, you have financial abundance coming in. If you're in the public eye, um, I see that you will have some sort of fame or accolade coming in, right? In regards to that, okay? We also have four of pentacles. So this person, I feel like they're going to want to personally claim you as theirs and lock down a relationship with you and tell the world, hey, this is my person. But they're still in this energy of being closed off. Okay, so they're not really opening up. See, this is the energy of being closed off, right? All right, tell me more about the Four of Pentacles. I don't know if this is your energy or your person's. Let's try to get some more clarification on this, okay? Tell me about the Four of Pentacles for Capricorn. Okay. This is someone that you walked away from in the past. Look, there's the Eight of Cups. You may have walked away from them because they didn't open up. Okay. All right, give me some more cards on this connection, please. I love how usually Spirit will always progress the reading from 
career to love. It's it's been like that with each sign. It's so funny. They have a method, I guess. Give me one more card about this connection, please. And then we'll get a final outcome for these two. Okay. Wow. What is the final outcome? I'm going to put all these cards back in. <clears throat> What's the final outcome? <clears throat> final outcome for these two in this connection, please. For Capricorn. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's a great day to be a Sagittarius in Capricorn. This energy is incredible. I can't. I want to almost cry a bit. Okay. So look, we have death. So I asked about this connection and we have death. So that means, um, this person where in the past they didn't open up you walked away from them. We have death, which means change. And then we have the fool. So you have a chance. If you would like Capricorn, this is completely up to you. Spirit is saying you have a chance. This person, there's been some changes within them and also within you. And you guys have a chance at a fresh start. The fool represents a fresh start, right? But look at what came out next. When I asked for, um, when I asked for, uh, the last card as the final outcome for you and this person, we have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is like the the coup de goût of love. Wee wee wee. Ha ha ha. <laughs> this is this person loves you as much as you love them. This is them pouring out their whole entire heart and soul. It's body, mind, soul. This connection is not just a connection of the heart. It's a connection of the body, the mind, the soul, right? This checks all the boxes for you, Capricorn. And this also represents the Holy Spirit. They are filled with the spirit of God or source or whatever it is that you want to call it. They're filled with divinity. And that divinity is overflowing and it is the divine loving you through this person. I just got the fucking chills. I love it. I love it. I love it so much and you deserve it. Look, this is so much love between you two that the love just overflows so not only are you rich, you are love. You are in love. I'm done. We're done with the, your reading. <laughs> we are going to pull a grace card and a moonology card. And we're going to end with a charm. And you are, wow. Like, there is there is nothing that needs to be said. All right. Let's move it right along, Spirit. Thank you for the quick profound deep message wowzes what else for capricorn there's nothing else left to say capricorn but wow rich in many ways anticipation the anticipation is killing us both capricorn <laughs> you and me both expect the best the world is working in your favor stop i'm done <laughs> I, am so, I am fucking done i cannot with you guys i don't know if i'm gonna hug you or hit you it's beautiful it's oh my god i'm gonna go with hug you i love you capricorn you guys I am so happy, so happy to see all of this beautiful growth and all of this. It, it literally says, expect the best. The world is working in your favor. Oh my God. I, I can't even do it. I can't even pretend that I'm not overjoyed with <laughs> all of it. 
you, you know, I don't understand how people do tarot reads and don't get fucking excited when things go so well for other people. Like that, I don't, I just don't get it, right? We're all, we're all connected. If one wins, we all fucking win, people. Why don't you get that, right? Capricorn. Oh, incredible. You are incredible. Absolutely incredible. I want to kiss you. I wish all of the Capricorns were here so I could kiss all of you. All of you. Every single one. Capricorns, come to my house so I can kiss you. Okay. Full moon in Aquarius. Be real. Oh my gosh. There's nothing else that you can be anyways but yourself. Your beautiful, amazing, kooky, weird flag flying self. I love it. Why am I yelling at you? I don't know. <laughs> Allow yourself to be seen because that's what's bringing out all these beautiful blessings. Allow the waters of your love to overflow and hit the world. It's incredible. Oh my God, I'm done. I can stay connected to your lovely energy forever. Okay, so here's the charms. We got to go through these quickly. So I have all these charms. Do you see them? I had all these charms. I didn't know what to do with them. So I went into meditation. I asked my spirit guides, how can I better serve my followers? So they gave me all of these um, messages through each of the charms. They channeled them for me. And so we did it together. It was a labor of love. And I'm going to show you exactly how many messages, okay? So, boom. We have two pages. This page. This page. Okay? They gave me a love meaning, which is in parentheses, and then a regular meaning, which is not in parentheses. So, another way for me to channel for you. <laughs> you're welcome. Okay, so I'm going to close my eyes. You can't see me, so you're going to have to trust me. And if you're here, I feel like you do trust me, Capricorn. So let's just shut up about it and do it. <laughs> Capricorn. Lips. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't take it. I'm laughing because I think it means kissing or something like that. I was just saying how I wanted to kiss you. And then the lips come out. Touche. I'm giggling to myself. I'm a nerd. Okay. So let's go. We're going to look lips. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we have the love meaning in parentheses. Kissing or to be kissed. <laughs> see I told you and then um, we have also there's two love meanings and two regular meanings so we have communication it means communication from your person and them wanting to kiss you or kissing you okay kissing or to be kissed and then the regular meaning is also communication or talking so it could be communication from um, all around right communication about if you were waiting on that job interview or that answer or whatever um, that job callback then yes it could be that type of communication somebody talking to you but there's also going to be a love communication and somebody reaching out and kissing you <laughs> or wanting to kiss you oh my gosh we're done <laughs> I'm done, Capricorn. I love you. If something resonated, please share with all your amazing Capricorn friends. Like the video and subscribe. It's completely free, Capricorn. I love you. Bye.